Hello and welcome to LARPcraft Game Systems. My name is Ryan Harden and in this video we're going to talk about what LARPcraft is. LARPcraft is a culmination of many different chapters and thousands of players from all over the world. We are here to build characters through different game systems that are being developed every day and experience those characters out in real games as well as within the forums and role play that we have that wouldn't be live. After a game, players then post in the in-game section of the, of the site, depending on which game system you're on, and you can share your experiences, both as your players out of game and as your characters in game. We have lots of tools that other websites and other game systems don't have, such as the ability for chapters to have their own website, forums, media section, events section, pre-registration section, and also a way to network with other chapters to co-promote larger regional and world games. We are one of the only systems that I have ever seen that incorporates all of these tools, but it gets better. LARPcraft also has places for uh, web stores for artisans, so they can sell products right on our store, and the money goes all to them through their PayPal account. They can donate a portion if they wish, or keep it all. We have many different communities within LARPcraft for factions, tribes, kingdoms, armies that they can use. They also get their own forums, uh, website, uh, etc. to help facilitate the growth of their group. And we have a, a university area to help players learn how to do things. The community also features the crafting areas so you can learn how to build different parts of LARP, whether that be weapons or props or facilities. These are some of the things that we offer. There's a map that shows where all the players are if they choose to go on it, so you can easily connect with each other. And you can create player accounts or specific game system accounts. Each game system has its own different tracking, so things that it tracks are dependent on that game system. If you choose that, uh, that game system, all of the things within your profile change to whatever is in that game. We have our most popular game system, which is Myths and Legends. It's a fantasy, medieval, medieval fantasy game. And it really captures the core essence of medieval history, Renaissance. Uh, it goes from, you know, prehistoric all the way up to about Victorian. And then there's some magic elements and fantasy elements as well. But they don't overpower the physical elements. So it's a very good, unique combination. The other game systems that we're developing are post-apocalyptic or apocalyptic LARP that's being developed right now. There's also Wild West Steampunk, Genesis, which is a prehistoric, solely prehistoric. There is the sci-fi system, which is called Galactic. And then there's other game systems that we may bring on as well. The point is, we want to create and facilitate the growth of live action role play in an easy to understand environment. There are lots of tools on LARPcraft to help players and chapters get involved. And we want to create the best games possible. A lot of game systems or a lot of uh, small micro games have a hard time building more than a few players. And this is a pretty common problem. LARPcraft offer, offers chapters the ability to help with marketing, social media, having the ability to run your own vault so that you can give out your own XP and mats and such uh, after a game. You don't have to wait for the system to do it. You have control of that. You can adjust um, uh, profiles and such as you see fit. It's very easy to build a character within LARPcraft. You get a lot of base skills and a lot of ways to build skills. So we try to make it as easy as possible for players and chapters to build together collectively. Chapters of LARPcraft will work together to co-host regional games. It's encouraged by LARPcraft. And we have a tier system. So tier one would be your starter chapters. Tier two will be the ones who will do regionals, overnights, larger games. And tier three will be the ones that will typically have their own facility uh, that they would own and have a very immersive environment. We, under, we understand that LARPcraft chapters usually start with a, a dream, a love of the game, and 
we can help you take it from there. If you would like to bring in, let's say you've been playing a game system for a while and you're just not happy with it or there's too much drama or politics or it's just not fun anymore, you can look at bringing your player base and your system of players into LARPcraft through our transfer program. A lot of folks enjoy being able to play with their families and friends and we take safety and all of the things that go into a game system very seriously. We want to be able to enjoy sharing both our stories and a lot of the action that happens and the adventure that happens within games. LARPcraft is not all about just battles. Battles are a big part of it. It's a lot of fun swinging foam. But crafting and professions and all of the other things, the smithings, all of these things are built within LARPcraft so that there's a lot to do besides just battle. They're not just support characters for the battle characters. They can run completely independent of uh, the, the characters who choose to, you know, march off in the battle. So there's a lot of things for everybody. This wasn't designed by one person or a team of people. It was designed by a community, and we value that. The community expressed interests in what they want to see within the game systems. They ask questions. The community answers their questions. Uh, we have gone through thousands and thousands of hours of meetings, lots and lots of games. We've worked out a lot of these things within our Miss and Legend system to know what works and what doesn't work mechanically, while also keeping the fun adventure and fantasy elements involved. We will then use these in our other game systems as well, knowing what works and what doesn't. So it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of things you can get involved in, and to start a LARPcraft chapter is very affordable. There is just a little bit of a a fee to get started, and there's you know there, it's not a franchise. It's uh, you own everything within your organization, and we are basically a sanctioning body for the game. So there's not a lot of politics and legal things that you have to worry about. From a hosting standpoint, we do offer quite a bit. Uh, LARPcraft is incorporated in both the United States and Australia. And as we branch out, we offer services to chapters such as insurance, legal, and the documentation, marketing, advertising, co-op dollars, uh, co-op for sponsorship, um, uh, ways to earn money through memberships and product sales. We have a lot of different support mechanisms in place to help make a chapter successful. A common misunderstanding is that successful means large. In some areas, there isn't a way to get a large chapter. There's just not enough people. We would like to have more hosts in more areas as opposed to fewer hosts in bigger areas. The chapters are designed to work together. And we are in this for a community effort. It is a community that makes great games. When games and regionals are done co-hosted by multiple chapters, each chapter takes a portion of that game and creates it. This makes a very awesome player experience because you're experiencing multiple parts of a game that are designed differently. And it makes it very unique. It makes it very organic. So we've been experimenting with this since 2013. It's gone off very well in many games. Players have had a lot of fun and give a lot of positive feedback. And again, it's, these are some of the things that make us different than other game systems out there. If you have any questions, my name's Ryan. You can post below this video. You can ask questions within the community, look through the game systems, look through the rule sets, uh, check out all the crafting and how to make garb and uh, you know, how to make huts and, you know, weapons and props and all of these things are in the community section. You're free to join any of those groups. They all have their own forums, media, tools to help players and chapters in any and every way we can.